that's kind of looking at the site from a much larger standpoint. Um, looking at the more immediate site uh, are these um, kind of elements of berms and swales, um, and we'll also talk about contours too as well. Um, so berms and swales are terms that you'll find um, in landscaping um, as ways of kind of water management to use uh, as ways of managing the water around a building and through a landscape. Um, and so uh, they become an important part of a design um, as well, especially site design. Um, so berms are raised barriers where swales are depressions. Um, so uh, a berm is essentially like a mound and that's a berm and a swale is a depression. Okay, um, swales are often seen as, you know, the stormwater management element along the sides of roads, um, really as an infiltration basin. So, um, you know, a, another type of stormwater management element, the infiltration basin, um, those swales, uh, you know, tend to kind of uh, collect water and um, in some cases, get them to kind of stop from rushing down the side of a hill. So what you also might find is that with swales, they might be located on uh, the uphill side of maybe like a path in order to manage that flow of water so that the land doesn't erode onto the path um, and uh, kind of creates a healthier experience that way and healthier um, water management that way. Um, when reviewing drawings, uh, you know, with this, it's important to understand what we're looking at. Um, and so a lot of times with PPD, what you'll find is you'll have some questions about contours and, um, you know, understanding essentially how do you read a contour map? How do you recognize these elements in plan? Because it's really difficult to, uh, you know, kind of give that vertical height and plan. Um, and so, you know, any type of these land formations is indicated in the plan um, as what's referred to as a contour, right? And so what a contour is, um, and if you do get any site maps, anything like that, they most likely have uh, the contours on them. Um, and what it indicates is essentially the landform of the area. And so uh, what's important um, for the contours is they can't be read by themselves, but they really do need to have numbers associated with them. Um, in order to indicate the elevation of the contour. And so with the contour, it just depends upon the scale of the, the map. It depends upon, um, you know, maybe how steep the slope is. Um, but typically the numbers are in increments. Um, if it's a smaller site, maybe less hilly, uh, they could be every foot. Um, you know, they can increase to every two feet, every 10 feet, every 50 feet. Uh, you know, again, it just kind of depends upon the map um, and the increments, you know, again, get bigger as the scale shifts from a larger drawing to a smaller drawing. So uh, in that case, it's about um, information management.